Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Adventurer. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, I've got one from Firestone Walker. This is Flyjack. Now, this one says it's an hazy India Pale Ale, but it's only 96 calories. And it's only 4% alcohol. So I gotta drink an IPA and I don't even get any alcohol out of it? Y'all say the things I do for y'all. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I feel like this is like one of their life. I, I feel like I've been flipped a fig. Yeah, I think so. Now, me and Carissa and two of our friends wound up going on a road trip up to Indiana. Just because, and I spotted this up there and bought it as a single. And I have no idea. I've had Firestone Walker beers and they were good. So we're gonna see about this one. I was not I was not well informed on this. Probably not. I mean I may or may not have kind of sneaked this one in on you. That is a very light color. Yeah. It looks like lemonade. You're not gonna like this at all. This is bullshit. I mean this is bull. Good I mean, Lord. I was reading it, and this is like uh, 96 calories, 5% alcohol. 4% uh, alcohol. 4. Um, Don't five lie to people. Calorie, uh, 5 carbs, 1 gram of protein, 0 fat. This is like a health beer. Yeah, because you don't want to drink it. You ain't going to get nothing out of it. I, I just wanted something different for the show. <sighs> the things I do. Well, the head dissipates pretty quickly. I mean, it does. It is kind of hazy. Although she's right, it does look like lemonade. It's very awkward. It smells very IPA though. My Get nose isn't quite working well enough to determine that. You better be glad. Give her oh, a yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Give her a shot. <laughs> we'll lean in so in case we zoom oh, in. Oh God, yeah, I can smell it now. Oh, gag. If you never, if you're new to the show, Carissa doesn't like IPAs. That little tiny micro sip. Mm -mm. No, thank you. You're that little kid when your mom was like, try it, and you had one pee. I got plenty, thank you. It's really not horrible. You know, that's a glowing recommendation on an IPA from her. I mean, it's hoppy, but it's not punchy in the face. I don't think it could be at 4%. I know. <laughs> It's just redeeming quality. It's like half a beer. It's okay. light for an IPA. Okay, so now I'm going, all right, let me get ready. Prepare myself. I just, think I made more faces in anticipation than I did over the actual beer. Probably. So. You usually do. No, 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 She's no. a smidge dramatic. <laughs> Drink your beer. I hope I don't get struck by lightning on camera in the house. Drink your beer. Okay. There's a very heavy pine note. It's, it but smells more smells, piney than it tastes. It smells a little citrusy. Mm, it smells more piney than it tastes. Thank God. Thank God. If you ever want to reset your nose, smell the backside of your hand. I mean, there's a lot of hot smell. I was <laughs> Oh, for sure. Um, <laughs> it's weird. There's a lot of front hop flavor, but not, in the back. But not back hop flavor. 
how do they do that? Which usually, I can live with. Usually it's back hop flavor. Mm -hmm. That's fresh. Which is what flavor. I don't like. Are you getting a lot of lemon? Mm -hmm. A lot of lemon. Mm -hmm. You get a uh, lot of lemon in the aftertaste for quite a while. I mean, there's just a hint of like, almost like a blood orange at the beginning. A little bit of pine. There's way more smell of pine. Than there is taste. Um, it's very citrusy. Yeah, all the, the hop end. is in the front, but it goes all away. It is very juicy on the back end. Kind of nice. I don't um, mind it. I, you know. Now I'm going to hunt it. No, no. But I don't mind it. It doesn't taste watered down either like a lot of 4% alcohol beers no. would be. I mean, one of the only things that doesn't taste watered down that's low alcohol content is a Shandy or a Rattler. Right. And then some American Rattlers, they're like, it's a Rattler, 5%. And I'm like, but is it? Yeah. You know, when you get those European Rattlers that are like two. Two. I like those. Yeah. Those are slamming beers. Um, those are all about the flavor. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind it's of. It's kind of like a hoppy Rattler. Is what I'm about, kind, about of, what it I'm like. kind of impressed. Uh, it gives me the smell of a mm -hmm. of an IPA and the initial taste, but, but there's it goes no away. back end. I can live with that. Also has very low calories. Mm -hmm. That'd be neat. And low carbs. So this is like this is like a mid culture that doesn't suck. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a Miller Lite. That's not. Yeah. That's low calorie, low carb, low alcohol. But actually, has flavor. Has a flavor. It's a little strong for me on the front, but it does go away. Really, I mean, as you swallow it, it's gone. And it leaves you with this little lemony, little hoppy, but not bad. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's like a hop rattler. Yeah, I was. I was really expecting it to be. <laughs> Kind of awkward mm -hmm. trying to do because I did do a tiny bit of research on it and I was like, Oh, you know, how are you doing a light beer hazy IPA? Right. Apparently, this is the way. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Yeah, this is actually good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, it's acceptable. I'm enjoying this. Um, hey, and if you're enjoying this video, uh, please give us a like. Uh, we really appreciate it and we'll let YouTube know that it was a fun video. Uh, also, go ahead. Come on. You're having a good time. You made it this far. Subscribe. Ring the bell. You'll get three videos a week usually. Um, you know, I'll see what I can find to put down in the description. Also in the description, you're going to find uh, all my links, social media, uh, my articles written about me and with me. Hey, you'll even find my merch store. Uh, this is one of my new ones. Um, you guys buy something, I'll get some money, I'll spend it on beer. Um, let's talk about it down there in the comments. Do you know something kind of a light beer that is not plain? I might be interested in trying that. Um, shoot, let's just get down to it. Did you dig it? Yeah, I, I did. actually did. Would you have another? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Firestone Walker is a little hard to find in our market. Of course. But when we get out of the area, we can find it sometimes. Um, now, would it go well with food? I think so. I think so. Seekability, uh, they're kind of in the middle range. They're from California, but they're making, you can get them a lot more places. Um, I don't know what size you can get. I mean, this is the big can. Yeah. Uh, how big was this? Uh, I don't, I don't see anywhere on here. Mm. It says per twelve ounces, but I'm trying to figure out how big this is. One pint, three point two fluid ounces. Well, that's weird. 
Um, <clears throat> so that's a 19.2 can. All right, whatever. Okay. Um, it wasn't terribly expensive. Okay. Uh, I assume they probably have them in 12 ounce cans, otherwise they wouldn't be putting it like that. So mm -hmm. you might be able to find them. Yeah. Six packs, 12 Six packs, packs, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, if you're looking for something that's a little lighter alcohol or a little lighter calorie, but you still want a, a large flavor, this has a, yeah, lot, a lot of flavor. I think so. Yeah. Um, now, so on my scale of 1 to 10, 1 is the lowest, 10 is the highest. It's a 7. Yeah, 7. That's All exactly right. what I was thinking. This is well above average. Yeah. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Seven. Well, there you have it, folks. To your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.